Hey everybody, welcome to another vlog. Today is the 4th of March. Um, I'm only just starting this vlog now because um, <laughs> I'm kind of going through one of my obsessive phases. Um, I have mentioned this in like vlogs before but I get like really obsessed with things and I just can't really focus on anything else like whether that be um, like makeup or buying something or just like watching something like properly like binge watching something like I get so like sucked in that my brain just like shuts down um I was even at work today and somebody said to me like like do you see are you okay like you're really quiet today um and like a couple of people said that to me and like I'm like oh yeah no I'm okay I'm just tired like if I said to them like what I had actually been doing um and why <laughs> they would just be like oh come on like get a life uh, <laughs> so yeah um I am doing like a separate massive vlog on this because I know it's going to be incredibly insatiably popular um with people who love this but like this is like a whole new level a whole new level um so if you go back to my last vlog my February one I'll, I'll link it here I went to go and see a video of well like a, a film I suppose I don't know what you really call it it's like a, a concert that's been filmed at the cinema um so I went with my sister to Plymouth to go and see uh like BTS this Korean pop band which she absolutely loves and um I, I, I kind of said at the end that it was it was all right like so I said that um it was okay I didn't really talk much about it because it wasn't really for me it was for her um but some of their songs were okay I liked the like rappy bits um I wasn't too keen on the solos but some of it was good some of it was mm, um I wasn't really sure um but I've kind of since then like I'm one of these people when you get exposed to something new I want to learn a little bit more about it uh I've watched like a couple of their actual music videos that have got like subtitles on them because none of it was subtitled when we went to the cinema and yeah I, I did actually like some of their songs um so my sister um found out they were actually coming back to the UK in June hey Ziggy um and has got us tickets to go and see them at the Wembley arena um, this sold out within 30 minutes and there were 2 million people trying to get tickets for this. As a result, they're now doing the 2nd of June. Uh, but the seats and what we're going to be have the opportunity to experience is just insane. We paid a lot of money for it. I'm just going to say that right now. You're going to have to watch the vlog. Uh, but yeah, it's it's going to be mental um and as the more time has been going on over the past couple of days the more i have literally just been watching them on youtube consistently 24 7 when i've not been at work i even came home this evening and didn't make myself a cup of tea and turned on youtube to watch the end of one of their concerts I have a problem. I am developing a BTS problem. Anyway, I'm sure you don't want to hear me ramble on about that for too long because, you know, there are people out there who are going to be like, what is this? What is she going on about? But like I said, these vlogs are, for me, they're not really like part of like my main channel, so to speak, but they're just kind of places where I experiment and discover new things and try new things. Um, so yeah, fashion has kind of gone out the window temporarily and music bands such as BTS are in, in, in. Hello Ziggy. I'm sorry. Oh, oh God. Uh, so yeah, I really love this shot by the way. I've never filmed from this angle. It's really good. Um, 
for like night time. You can't see any of my mess in my bedroom whatsoever. <laughs> hey everybody, today is the 18th of March. I've not actually filmed anything really for my vlog other than like five minutes worth of stuff. So I thought I'd best give you a quick update as to why and what's been going on and all that kind of stuff because this is obviously going to be more of a catch-up video than a vlog just because of everything that's been going on but I will include an unboxing in this video very shortly after this little rant. Um, so basically <laughs> um, this month has just kind of got away with me really if I'm completely honest. Um, I started my new job at work last month and basically um, the person I'm working alongside had some holiday which meant that I ended up doing um, like a crazy couple of weeks where I didn't really have time to do very much YouTubing and then basically I don't know what's happened but like loads of companies have been asking me to do reviews this month for Mother's Day so like even today I've got this massive pile do you see them there um of boxes that I've got to do videos on I've still got videos that I've filmed I've not uploaded this month I'm literally just really struggling with time because I also had a flat inspection which meant I lost another three days kind of tidying and cleaning my house for that. So it's just kind of been a bit insane. Um, like literally, like where has this month gone? Um, so I know I've normally uploaded this by now but I haven't because obviously like nothing has really happened. I've just been at home filming and going to work and then coming home and doing more editing and trying to keep up with stuff. But um, yeah, I've got a quick unboxing to include for you today because I've not even done anything with that. In fact, I got this box because I got a spot. I know that sounds crazy, but see here, I got this giant spot come on my face like three days ago. I could feel it like under the skin, like burning its way to the surface and it's resurfaced and I've been using one of the products in the box um, and it's not really helped at all. I'm very disappointed. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you're all having a really good productive month. Much more productive than my month has been so far anyway. Um, I'll just keep filming for as long as I can really and kind of include anything that else pops up in the next couple of days. So I'm sorry if this is a super boring vlog, um, but that is real life, isn't it? And I think that is one of the things that I like about vlogging is that you don't know what's going to happen. Um, you know, last month loads of cool fun stuff happened. Next month, oh my god, so much fun stuff's happening next month. Um, I've got like a special gig to go to, all, all sorts of fun stuff. But like this month has just run away with me. But that's fine, that is okay, that is normal, that's life. Um, so yeah, let's go and do the unboxing, shall we? Because I feel like I need to kind of get into the mood of unboxings to get on with that lot which is sitting behind me. So yeah, let's get to it. Hey everyone, I haven't even straightened my hair yet today. This is how disorganized I've been, but at least I'm up and dressed. Like some days I've been so tired. I literally have just been not getting up until like midday, but that is my new life now. I just need to get over it. Uh, anyway, so, um, I saw this, the ASOS box. I don't know if you guys know about it at all. Uh, Diary of a Be Beauty Geek. Um, she unboxes it like all the time on her channel. And I saw this and because I'm feeling very uh, into the Korean vibe at the moment, what with all the stuff that I'm doing with the BTS concert coming up and all that stuff, I thought it'd be quite nice to try some Korean beauty. So this is the Korean edition. Now, you get a little card. I think this is my second ASOS box that I've got. And the only reason I bought this is that I went on their website and then I came off it and they sent me an email saying, oh, like, did you miss out on something? Was there something you wanted to get? Like, here's 20% off. And I was like, okay, I'll take that. Um, so yeah, I got 20% off this box, which meant it only cost me like 12 quid, which I thought was pretty good. Um... So it says here, no one does skincare like Korea, so we've packed this box full of our favourite K-beauty brands for you to sample. 
so yeah, I thought that was cool. Um, now the first thing, I just mentioned this before actually, was this Dr. Oracle um, 21 Slay Stay Thera Peeling Stick. I've been using this, or I used it the first night that my spot came out, and I was like, is it going to do anything? No, didn't do anything. Felt tingly, but didn't really do anything. So I used it again the next night. I know you're not really meant to do that, but um, I know it's meant to be like a one a one hit wonder, but I thought, well, you know, I'd use the other side of the swab, um, and it didn't do anything either. So I'm pretty disappointed with that product, but oh well got ourselves a foot mask this is the baby silky foot mask sheet um i love foot masks um i think they're great i don't like those peely ones they kind of scare me a little bit but uh this one looks pretty nice her feet look pretty good in the picture so uh this is the holla holica 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 Holoka holoka. Um, baby silky foot mask sheet. Highly enriched with essential foot sh a highly enriched essential foot sheet which will make your feet feel fresh and moist. Hmm. That'll be fun. Um, we've then got this serum, which is a power 10 formula VB effector, which is for sebum control. Um, I personally don't think I will use this but I'm going to give it to my sister because I think this is more of a product that will suit her skin type um, but yeah that looks really cool I like the the bottle and stuff like that so that looks funky apparently the contents of this box is meant to be like 65 pounds which is insane then we've got the Cetra, Cetra Moisture by Dr Jart and this is just a like a mini travel kit um, so it has a moisturising toner, a treatment and uh, oh, hydrating lotion and yeah, some other stuff. I just thought this looked really funky, like really funky. Um, I don't actually know how you, oh there you go, that's how you open it. It says open. I like this sort of thing. Yeah, so that one there is just like a moisturising toner made in Korea. Let's have a little whiff. Oh, that smells nice. Then we've got this one. This is a moisture radiation shield. Apply to face evenly to retain healthy, hydrated skin. Some like moisturiser. Oh, and then this must be the serum. Let's have a look at the serum. So it says here, apply serum morning and night to the entire face. Oh, that's really thick. Yeah, that smells very similar to the toner. Maybe it's just the toner I can smell. I'm not sure, but I I think I will use those. I'm, I just liked the packaging and thought they were really cute, so... I haven't actually tried this but I already have one and this is the mask bar silver foil sheet mask I picked one of these up I think it was in boots like maybe two years ago something like that it's probably about time I used it actually I don't think it was two years ago it was my last summer um, and this I think I paid five pounds for it so um, it was when they just came out but this is just basically a uh, face mask with aloe juice, um, aniseed fruit extract and, cam and camellia leaf extract. So yeah, another face mask. So I thought that was a pretty good box for £10. And you got some nice products. It's a shame that that didn't really work for me but um, let me know if you picked this up and whether you thought it was good or not. Um, but I just wanted to try something a little bit different and a bit fun. Watch! 
just come into Exeter to do a bit of shopping it's the um, sales today like mid-season sale for a lot of places so I'm gonna go and see what bargains I can find oh my goodness I've been in next already and spent an absolute fortune I've got like the biggest the biggest bag um, and I'm just gonna go to Reese as well because I don't know if you know, but in Exeter, they have like an upstairs bit, which is like all sale. So we're just gonna go and have a little sneaky look in there. And I'm gonna put my hood up again because I'm going into the rainy bit. The things we do for bargains. Oh. Hey guys, so I've just come out of Boots and um, just had my makeup done by the Benefit Girls on the counter. Literally, I was there chatting to my mum and they were just like, oh yeah, let's just do your makeup. And then they were like, oh, but your eye makeup is so nice, we're not gonna touch it. So, with a little giggle, but I got to try the new Hoola colour that's come out. It's exclusive to palettes at the moment, but really, really pretty. So, um, yeah, really nice. That was quite fun, something different. Um, but now I'm on my way home to show you what I picked up in the next sale. Hey everybody, so I'm back from my little shopping escapade. Um, it was quite fun actually, I had a nice afternoon. I didn't plan to go shopping this afternoon, um, but you know, that's just what happens in my life. Um, I also wanted to take five minutes actually because I just had a message on my YouTube that like really, like I had a really good afternoon, like I was really buzzing. I had, um, the company little known box company like contact me um uh their manager like the owner helen and um she was like oh my god i loved your video you're amazing thank you so much um it was really really nice all that kind of stuff and then i had someone like message me going oh you said this wrong like you pronounced it wrong you said it the wrong way round and it just really sometimes gets to me that i try really really hard and I don't mean to make mistakes and people take it so personally and I don't you know I try to like laugh it off now because I don't mean it and you know everyone knows that I'm quite I try to be like a nice genuine person um and having sometimes like having a learning difficulty where you make mistakes and no matter what you do you can't help it like it just your brain fixates in a way on something and you just kind of go over the same you make the same mistake time and time again no matter how much you know that it's wrong but it just comes out the other way around um you know whether you're reading writing speaking it's really frustrating um and and you know you try to kind of just see it as one of these little quirky things that you happens in your life um and sometimes when people don't take the time to get to know you and realize that that is you know there's a reason behind it you're not doing it deliberately you're not doing it to be unprofessional um you know it's really hurtful so um I just want to thank all of you who who don't make me feel like I'm a complete mess and idiot all the time and you know really supportive about you know um that I try to get things right that come out of my mouth and that's one of the things that I find the hardest to do so yeah I do really appreciate it and I think sometimes the, the times that I notice it are the, the most are the times where I put the most pressure on myself and I find that if I put a lot of pressure on myself that's when I make the most mistakes but they're the times that I I need to put that pressure on myself because I want to do a good job so it's it's like a catch-22 you can't be perfect all the time if you have a learning difficulty that you're trying to overcome because you've got to push through the difficulty or the problems with it to to get to the other side which is the more positive experience where actually 
you've made that mistake so many times that you won't make it again um so you know it's it's something that is like taking your coming on this learning journey with me um when i'm talking to you because i'm getting to practice and i think some people just don't see that um which is really frustrating for me because i never try to judge somebody until i know them um and some people in this world just literally like judge people so quickly and it really upsets me and that's all I've got to say about that but yeah I still had a nice afternoon because ugh, I came home with this so naughty of me um I have ordered a couple of things online that I had to go and pick up um and one of them was this skirt now it was 64 pounds um, I'm not going to lie, it was very expensive. It was in the sale half price. Um, and I need to try it on to see if it's going to fit. But it's so gorgeous. Um, it's really unusual. Let me just get it out. Oh. So, basically, let me just... Nope, that's as far as you're going to go. Okay. So, it's a leather skirt, but it's got like... Um, like a wrap piece that goes round like it's so different it's a size 10 so I'm hoping it's going to be a nice fit it's by Selected Femme Femelle Femi um, so yeah it looks a good size if I'm completely honest um, but yeah it's really nice and it's a good it's a good length um, and it feels gorgeous and I just wanted a leather skirt and I've got one to try on. I don't know if it's going to keep it or not. It depends what it's like. But yeah, it looks nice. So we're going to try that. I then picked up two of these dresses. Now I picked one up of these as a top. And they've now got them in the sale in the dress form. In fact, they've got loads of the tops of this in the sale as well. And basically it's just like a long stripey dress um with a polo neck and i just thought that would be cute for work um i picked up in a 12 and a 14 just because i wasn't sure it's one of those dresses that goes straight down and you know how sometimes when you walk they can come up so i don't want it to be too tight then in the store i picked up these these were 14 pounds these are ankle straight high rise um, coated trousers so they're like really stretchy um, and they're just straight legged coated jeans um, in black I was getting a bit fed up so I've got some black jeans that I bought for work but they um, have a tendency to um, fade so I wondered if these would be less fady um, but more of a jean style and they look really nice and stretchy so I thought I would give these a go and see what they're like and I thought they'd be quite nice with like like a long tunic or something so yeah I thought we'd try them um they then had some more boho boho boohoo see I'm making mistakes already uh boohoo polo neck so they had one in brown, um, I picked up size 12, they had one in the brown, so it's basically no different really from what I'm wearing now, but brown polo neck. Um, and then they had a yellow one, or a burnt orangey coloured one. These were like two to four pounds each, they're so cheap. See? another one and um, they had a grey vest top now I picked this one up because my grey vest top that I've got um I don't wear it very often but I do find it's quite a useful colour to keep um actually I put my fingers through it the other day like it actually fell apart um and this was two quid so just a basic grey vest top oh now this is what I was most excited about 
Now I have actually already ordered this online, but I'm gonna cancel my online one because they had it in store and I was just like, I like it so much, I'm gonna have to pick it up now. And basically it's a suede coat. So it was 58 pounds and it went down to 28. And I picked it up in a size, I think it was a 10 and a 12 because I wasn't sure what size was gonna fit me. But I picked the size 10 because it's just so gorgeous. Um, I really, really like it. I love suede, um, the colour and the texture just suits me really well. Um, yeah, I like it. Sorry, my hair's all flat from being out in the rain. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this jacket. It's gorgeous. Um, definitely a keeper um and yeah really really nice so i'm so happy i got this i went into the store and they had a size 20 and a size 10 and i picked up a size 10 it was perfect so um like i said i did order it online as well but i can just cancel those and i can keep this one and i'm just like oh it's gorgeous this is going to be really nice in the summer as like a kind of thing to throw on but at the same time um it's a little bit boho chic kind of style for summer and in the autumn it's just gorgeous with a pair of knee-high boots yeah i love it i love it love it love it so i saw this and i thought this was the cutest jack uh shirt that i had ever seen um so <laughs> It's got raccoons on it. Like, I don't know if you can see these, like, cute little raccoons. But basically, um, I got it into size 12 petite. And it's just like a red berry shirt. Um, it's nothing special special. Um, it was, how much was it? £14. And I just thought it was cute and a little bit different um, with the raccoons. So... Yeah, I picked that up. Last but not least, there's another thing from Boohoo, but I think I might take this back. I just wanted to see what this was gonna look like because I've never been ever brave enough to wear one of these. And this is basically like a black kind of like a uh, cropped vest top really, or polo, polo, a cropped polo shirt. So really, really short in length, but you know, still like my size, it's a medium to large. Um, yeah it's, it was a fiver so i'm gonna try it and see but i've got i don't have high hopes for it um but yeah very happy with my little haul um as you would have seen as well on my insta stories i had my makeup done at benefit today um literally i was just walking through boots and they grabbed me and said would you like your makeup done and i said yeah okay um don't usually do that sort of thing so that was quite nice it was quite fun to try out some different products um i definitely liked their makeup um it wasn't my favorite i do feel that i looked slightly better before i sat in their chair uh but yeah it was nice to try some different things and i did like that under eye brightener it did work really really well um and yeah i did a little story on my insta so it was quite fun um, so yeah, I'm going to end my little vlog here. I hope you enjoyed this month. Um, I know it was a little bit random last minute, but you know, that's life, isn't it? Um, so yeah, I will see you all next time, guys, for another fun month. And next month we have lots happening. Lots and lots. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye.